everybody, this is Praxis, and today I have finished up all of the closet boarding that I was doing upstairs the past couple days. That's all done. I was able to put in that uh, hole that will allow the vent pipe for the uh, uh, drainage, plumbing drainage stuff to go through. So that's all done. I've decided now to come down here, now that I've had the meeting with the plumber, uh, and start building the walls around this bathroom so that we can kind of get the, uh, the plumbing going through the stud walls and um, the first step in that process is finding out where the wall is going to be. Now I uh, mentioned that I had the discussion with the plumber uh, yesterday and he said if we stand up for this, if we uh, build a wall so that the front of the studs is flush with the front surface of this, he said that'll give us plenty of room in here, that won't be any problems for him. So what I've done is I got a nail up in here and a string in this plumb bob, which is a really handy tool for getting vertical alignments. Uh, I've got it, uh, the nails in at an angle so that the string uh, is nice and snug right up against the board. And what this plumb bob is going to tell me is what is the point on this floor that is directly beneath the surface of the uh, uh, this beam right up over here. And I'm doing several measurements, uh, you know, one at every floor joist, and that way I'll be able to run the, uh, the sill of the wall right along this, this line here, and it'll line up you know, nice and perfectly so when the wall goes up, it'll be flush right there. So I've got this kind of dangling here. Now you can see it's just a pendulum. It's swinging back and forth, back and forth. What I try to do is try to grab some uh, uh, momentum out of it and get it to slow down as best I can, which is actually pretty tricky. It's little, little motions in your fingers get grabbed by it, so I'm trying to pull out as much energy as I can. And now that it's doing just a tiny little circle right here, I'm going to look along it and try to draw a line that's kind of between the points on its sway. And this is gratuitously overkill. Me speaking is actually blowing on the uh, plumb bob. Okay. Did a line. I'm just making sure that it's swinging equally to either side. And as is always uh, important whenever you draw a line on lumber or the floor or whatever, it's important to define what you mean by the line. Like, what does that line mean? I'm, and that doesn't mean I necessarily have to write out on the floor what this line means. But what it does mean is, well, if this is my uh, uh, piece of floor paint, Plate, do I put it down on this side of the line or do I put it down on that side of the line? I want to define where the floor is uh, supposed to be going. So I'm just going to draw an X on the side of the line that's going to get covered up by the, uh, uh, by the sill plate. So I'm just going to continue going along this whole wall and then these are scraps of pressure treated lumber uh, from the, uh, uh, the uh, sill plate for the rest of the house. I cut them back so that the concrete could go up to the edges and they're perfect scrap for this job. That's it. Thanks for watching.